For horror movie fans, he was a favorite. Veteran actor and Fresno native Sid Haig passed away today. He was 80 years old. Although his career took him away from Fresno years ago, he often returned. And in 2010, I had the pleasure of talking to him. Howdy, folks. Like blood, violence, freaks of nature. He's why some kids are afraid of the circus. Well, then come on down to Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Madness. Horror fans knew him as Captain Spaulding, the twisted clown slash serial killer, a star of the films House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects. It's been a few years since you've been in here. <laughs> Quite <it>? a few, <laughs> yeah. But face to face, Sid Haig wasn't really scary at all. Born Sidney Eddie Mosesian, Haig was his dad's first name. He grew up in the heart of Fresno's Armenia town. You know the um, exhibition hall? Yeah. Okay. The ticket booth is approximately where my bedroom was. Is that right? Yeah. Sid says he was tall for his age. His parents put him in dance class for coordination. His first break came early on. Because I'm a, a seven-year-old kid in top hat and tails with a dog singing and dancing to how dry I am. Okay. <laughs> Come on. That's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> yeah. Right, right away. This theater at Roosevelt High School was among his first acting venues. We visited there with him a few years back. Uh, it's smaller than I remember. Uh, we had two productions a year. The junior class play, which was usually three one acts, mm -hmm. and then the senior class play. <laughs> Since the early 60s, he appeared in dozens of movies, hundreds of classic TV shows, Get Smart, The Lucy Show, The A-Team, usually playing the bad guy. He got out of the industry for a time, but an interesting script lured him back. And that was Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. And everything from there just went straight up. Sid was named Best Actor and Villain at the Spike TV Scream Awards, a favorite at horror and comic conventions nationwide. He always seemed to play the heavy, albeit twisted, in a genre that loved him.